often folks don't, and companies don't change their behavior until they're forced to. So there is a strong regulatory driver. Um, and for us, it's, it's the biggest driver for adoption of new technologies. I think the water sector generally is a regulatory driven sector. So I don't think the risk is that, that regulations privatizes or makes public. So I don't think it's a shift in that sense. I think what I'm seeing is a much more intimate connection between the private and the public. Um, looking for infrastructure solutions, private public financings is a model around build on operate where you have a municipality that in the past would have bought and operated their own plant. They're realizing it doesn't make good sense. So they're gonna work with the private sector player to provide that solution. But the regulatory drivers around what you have to treat, the pricing of that of that water to the customer and the resource base that's generated is key. And in 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 the industrial sector for us in China and India, the big reasons we've moved to those two countries is number one is they got huge population growth, number two, rapid industrialization, but they've had that. The third driver is they now have a regulatory driver where they realize that the environmental damage that they're doing and the lack of fresh water is, is, is a real health and economic growth issue. So they now have regulations that says you've got to clean up your act.